When you hear the phrase cup size, your mind generally goes to bras, but pattern cup sizes are different to bra cup sizes and actually have no direct correlation. In this short tutorial, we are going to walk you through the exact steps to choose your pattern cup size for Made Label and chat about exactly what cup sizes are. So what are pattern or dressmakers cup sizes and why do we need them? Well, boobs, as splendid as they are, really influence the fit of a garment. If you have a bust that is either larger or smaller than what the pattern was drafted for, you're going to experience either excess fabric around the bust or find the garment is too tight and the style lines are not sitting in the correct place. An example of this is you may find something like an underbust style line is actually sitting right in the middle of your bust. I for one have experienced this many, many times. So to get the right fit, instead of just sizing up or down, which can cause fit issues with the rest of the bodice, the go-to alteration is a small or large bust adjustment. Unlike some very simple alterations like lengthening or shortening a pattern, this can be a little bit of a fiddly adjustment. So this is where pattern or dressmakers cup sizes really come into play. Instead of having just one bodice drafted to fit all bust sizes, the pattern designer includes variations of the bodice that already have the small or large bust adjustment applied to them, which means a better fitting garment right from the get-go, regardless of your bust size. These cup sizes are usually symbolized with letters, but to reiterate, the cup size you wear in your bra may not correspond to your dressmaker's cup size. So it's important to go through the steps to find your correct cup size. So what to wear? Finding your cup size involves taking a few measurements. Just wear your everyday preferred bra, whether that be a push-up bra or a comfy bralette. If you find you switch between bras, depending on the garment, we suggest taking multiple measurements to see if you end up with a different cup size based on your bra choice. This way you can switch up underwear and cup sizes depending on the garment you're sewing. So we're about to dive into the steps to find your made label cup size. Just to note, the measurements that we use to determine the cup size may slightly differ from when working with other patterns. We did a bunch of research and analyzed numerous measurements from a diverse range of bodies and compared these various methods and found that taking measurements solely from the front of the body, which is the area most influenced by the bust, provides the best starting point. For a perfect fit, we always recommend sewing up a sample. But if you're keen to just jump in and get sewing, a few simple measurements and a pinch of math and you have a pretty great starting point. I'm gonna be demonstrating the two measurements on our stunning model Gemma. But if you're going it solo, try standing in front of a mirror to avoid looking down at the tape when you record your measurements, as this can slightly distort the numbers. Okay, so let's dive in and decode your cup size. The first measurement you want to take is your full bust half circumference. Start by raising your arms. Locate your side seam in line with the fullest part of your bust. Place the measuring tape from one side seam point across your full bust to the other side seam point. Lower your arms naturally at your sides, keeping the tape parallel to the ground across your front body. Take a moment to relax your body, take a deep breath in and exhale fully before taking your measurement. Next, you want to measure your under bust half circumference. Again, raise your arms. This time, locate your side seam in line with your under bust where your bra band sits. Place the measuring tape from one side seam point across your front body to the other side seam point. Lower your arms naturally at your sides, keeping the tape parallel to the ground across the front of your body. Take a moment again to relax your body. Take a deep breath in and exhale fully before taking your measurement. Next, we use these two measurements to calculate your cup size. 
simply take your half full bust and subtract your half under bust. This will give you your bust difference. Let's play out an example. Using a full half bust of 53 centimeters or 20.9 inches and subtracting the half under bust of 39 centimeters or 15.4 inches. This would give us a difference of 14 centimeters or 5.5 inches. Finally, compare your bust difference with the chart in your pattern info or on our blog page. It's super important to note that Misses and Curvy have different charts, so be sure you are referring to the correct size range. If you are sewing our patterns, each size range has a separate PDF information doc. In this case, we will refer to the Misses chart, and with a difference of 14 centimeters or 5.5 inches, the cup size would be a B. Now that you've got your cup size figured out, it's time to turn to the sizing charts. You will need to take your full bust circumference and then using your cup size you calculated, refer to the row that matches your bodice cup size. If you are using the body measurement chart, you can simply choose the measurement that matches your full bust circumference in your bodice cup size. If you are using the finished garment chart, you will need to factor in ease before choosing your size. Choosing your size can feel super overwhelming when you are new to sewing. In this case, definitely check out our tutorial on ease and how to choose the right size. It will be a game changer in helping you navigate the task of choosing your size and we will link the tutorial below. Finally, select your pattern file. Each pattern has a separate pattern file for each cup size. Simply select your preferred file type, be it A3, A4, A0 or projector, and then choose the file name with your cup size in it. And hopefully you have now successfully found your cup size and we can consider the cup size mystery solved. Until next time, keep on sewing your way to design a wardrobe DIY style.